So what we've been dealing with in class, we've talked about what is the biblical foundation of youth and family ministry, what is our purpose, we're wrestling with mission statements and declaring about our mission. We've talked about who is our audience. We've talked about the, the, the young folks we have and the, we've talked about those five levels of commitment they have and that there are certain things you do with them at each of those five levels of commitment to help them to mature in the likeness of Christ. We talked about how we do programming to work with them at each of those different levels and we turned in your calendar assignments and so forth. And then we began to talk about who should, who should work with us in that process. So we talked about volunteers and some things you need to think about in working with volunteers. Remember we talked about job descriptions and we looked at when Jesus sent out the 70 and the 12. He sent them in prayer in pairs and gave them authority and gave them very specific guidelines. So we've talked about those things. And intermixed with that, we've had a number of different guest speakers who have talked about different areas of focus that is especially for them. And, and Ben will continue that. John David was our last speaker and he talked about how to build a culture that runs all the way through your youth program, the, the right culture when you build from the ground up. So kind of want to bring us up today on where we're at. So when we deal with the issue of who should help in, in that work of shaping young people into the likeness of Christ, remember one of the things I've stressed over and over in this class is that the parents are the primary youth minister. The parents are the primary youth minister. This are okay. The the Tom Burglar is who taught the class. So like what I just read are Tom's assessments. Does that make sense? But then the three books he refers to are Passing on Faith. The two I have. Let me see. I'll just back them up. The one that kind of gives you the sense of the culture is The Rise and Triumph of the Modern Self by Carl Truman. And then the other two books that he, what he does is he's basically breaking down the research they did is religious parenting and handing down faith. But what I just read to you were basically his personal assessments. Okay, I read this research, I read all these books, here's what I think I'm seeing. Doesn't mean it's right, but he, he's just, and that's how he described it. He said, here's what I see, you'll have to make a decision about what you're seeing. So did that help any? Absolutely. Thank you. Here's some things, because this whole session was on reframing youth ministry in light of what parents actually think. And so, uh, he talks about that we need to reframe the parental responsibility challenge. And what he means by that is, we've been telling parents, you are responsible you need to take the bulls by the horn, bull by the horns, and help your kids have faith. He said he thinks we need to challenge that, not that he thinks parents shouldn't be influencing their children, but that parents need to realize that they're not the only ones who influence young people. They also need the community of faith. In fact, one of the things you're going to find in Scripture is that faith forms in family and it forms in fellowship. In other words, you see numerous examples of older, mature, faithful Christians outside of the family. Paul is a great example who are influencing the faith of folks that, you know, Paul, you know, refers to Timothy and Titus as his sons in the faith. They're not literally his biological sons. So what he says is, when he still say to parents, you're the primary youth ministers, but you're not the only ones who can minister to your young people. And that you need, you know, to help parents to understand the value of other mature mentors. So that's where, like, knowing the research comes into play. So if I'm talking to parents, and let me let me emphasize this: one of the best things you can do is, as you learn this information, feed it to the preacher, because the preacher is often the one who gets to share things with the parents.